Robin Shu of Liu Kang fame from the 1995 film Mortal Kombat takes the helm and brings us the documentary Red Trousers, The Life of a Stuntman. For those who don't know, Robin Shu has participated in a number of films in Hong Kong. By no means a big name in Hong Kong, he has been notable in working with Donnie Yen in Tiger Cage 2, Philip Colfe in Guns N' Roses, Moon Lee in Fatal Termination, and Cynthia Khan in In the Line of Duty 3. Uh, Robin Shu is one of the lucky few who has successfully transitioned to Hollywood in films like Dead or Alive and Death Race. Red Trousers, The Life of a Stuntman is an interesting case of a combination of a short film and a feature length documentary combined into one. Uh, though the final outcome is not entirely a good combination, it was an interesting experiment. At times, it feels rather self-serving vehicle for uh, Robin Shu using a notion of acknowledgement for Hong Kong stuntmen as a means to advertise his own work, considering uh, Robin Shu wrote the script, directed, produced, starred and choreographed. It's no wonder why it feels like a vanity project. Uh, so to begin with, let's talk about the short film, uh, Lost Times, meshed within the documentary. Robin Shu plays Evan, a member of a feared group of assassins known as the Forest Devils. Uh, his latest assignment sees him having to execute fellow assassins and he is unwillingly paired uh, with another member, Silver, to gather they venture forth and kills uh, various nameless individuals. The documentary loses much of its time to his Lost Times companion piece. You will be hard pressed to be invested with such a weakly veiled idea of a story. Uh, the short jumps around between locations and characters with little meaning or objective leaving the viewer uncaring to the proceedings. By intermittently cutting away from the story and splicing the behind the scenes footage, it may have hurt the proceedings but without doing so the short would not have been able to engage the audience. Uh, the short segments are not particularly particularly over long and thankfully the moments that the short is interrupted it is during the stunt moments where it would segue into behind scenes footage give an interesting insight into creation and preparation. There is a host of fight scenes but none of them really stands out and it's troubling that the film dedicated to Hong Kong action is lacking in the area that it should excel. And it's even more disappointing considering the talents involved including Keith Cook, Jude Poyer, Hakim Alston and the talented Andy Chung and even Ridley Choi. Uh, or contributing to the choreography. Uh, the documentary itself is a combination of interviews and behind the scenes footage from the inclusive short film Lost Times with a few snippets of footage from existing films that usually feature Robin Shu. Uh, the biggest draw of course is the inclusion of Sammo Hong and Lau Ka Lang, who are both featured heavily in the documentary. Both provide very interesting insights to the life of a stuntman. Lao details his humble beginnings as a red trousers and how they were usually shunned upon by actors and directors. They earned little to nothing and demanded little respect. It's a fascinating piece that audience will understand the hardship of early era Hong Kong cinema and added to this is interviews from stuntmen and coordinators like Jude Poyer and Ridley Choi. As a contributing coordinator on the project we get to see Ridley Choi directing the action and he gives a detailed interview on his experience in Hong Kong. Jude Poyer presents his insight on his venture to Hong Kong and being accepted in the Hong Kong Stuntman Association. Uh, there's an interesting moment where we see Stuntman, who is now a famed coordinator, Jack Wong Wei Leung, performing a stunt, but he gets frustrated by his own performance. We get to see footage of a wire gag gone wrong and the wire snapping, plummeting the stuntman to the hard ground. We see his eventual recovery and he details the life that proceeded after. The inclusion of footage of the Beijing Performance Academy, where audience gets a wonderful insight on the potential new talents in the stunt industry, and it's a very heartfelt moment. It is a glimpse of the kind of hardship that Jackie Chan and Sam Hong had to deal with. And their interviews shed light on their uncertainty of their future. Now the documentary itself is extremely enlightening, providing detailed information, but it does on occasion feel like there's many missed opportunities. At times it feels like a showcase for the short film itself, with many of the behind the scenes footage taken from the project itself. And I think it would have benefited more from additional footage from other projects or workshops and the like. The DVD itself released by Taishan is packed with a wealth of features and it's an amazing addition to martial arts cinema fans. Uh, there's a Sam Hong and Lau Kalang interview in its entirety featured separately with new information that has been exercised from the actual feature itself. There is also a heartfelt additional footage of uh, Beijing Performance Academy where there are more students who aspire to be uh, the next big star. Sure, it's a vanity project for Robin Shu, uh, more to serve his interest than to really portray the stuntman industry in Hong Kong. But the information and interviews he has compiled is detailed and worthy enough for those with an interest in the life of a stuntman. <laughs> Thank you.